Good day, listeners. My name is Uli and I am an RX Radio Young reporter. Today I am interviewing Dr. Jessica Chikwana, one of the registered at Red Cross Children's Hospital about child abuse in South Africa. We will be doing this interview over what's acute to the COVID-19 situation and the national lockdown. So the quality might not be so good. Doctor, for the first question, What is child abuse? Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I feel so glad to be here. And yes, today I will be talking to you about child abuse. So this is when a child is intentionally harmed by an adult or another child. And this can be something which happens as a one-off action. So maybe just today, or it can be an action which has happened repeatedly over a period of time. I stress the word intentionally because I know accidents do happen, but in the situation of child abuse, you have somebody who is doing this action to a child, fully knowing what they're doing to that child. What are the different types of abuse? So we have multiple types of abuse. Um, This can be, just in a nutshell, physical abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, neglect, online abuse, as well as criminal exploitation. Who can abuse a child and where can abuse take place? Abuse can happen anywhere any time and be done by anybody and it can be done to anybody okay so usually the people who abuse children are people that children know so it can be a parent it can be a relative or a distant relative it can be a friend it can be a sibling of a friend it can be just a total stranger somebody who is just walking in the street it can be a teacher or somebody from school so essentially it is anybody and again most abuse happens actually in the home environment but it can happen anywhere it can be happen at school at the mall or even you know as you're walking to the grocery store that's where abuse can happen in your opinion what do you think are causes of child abuse the first thing to note um, is that child abuse is never ever ever the fault of the child children are meant to be loved children are meant to be adored they are meant to be taken care of they're meant to be nurtured so that they can grow up to be these amazing amazing people having said that the people who abuse children or situations where child abuse can happen is mostly um people who live in areas where there's a lot of crime there's a lot of abuse of alcohol and drugs you know um, areas where you have lots of people and not enough space for those um, children to be taken care of in that area you know areas where a lot of people are unemployed they're just hanging around all day not really doing anything also especially in the home you have times when your parent is very stressed out or a caregiver is very stressed out about something that's happening personally in their lives or this person might be dealing with some sort of trauma from their own life or you know they have their own issues and they tend to take it out on a child having said that there's so many different reasons for abuse but those are the ones that i think we can talk about right now a child abuse case is becoming higher or lower in south africa and what do you think is making these numbers higher or lower? The rate of child abuse in South Africa remains quite high. In some national surveillance uh, studies, it shows that up to 42% of children um, had some form of maltreatment or abuse experience in their lives however when you look at the numbers in the books you find that we actually don't have that many cases registered and we think that this is because people do not report abuse or sometimes people do not even know that this is abuse and they need to report it so the number of cases that we see is not equal to the number of cases that are out there in the community it is said that if a young boy grows up in an abusive home where his mother is constantly 
being abused, the boy will be possibly grown up into a man who does the same to his wife, thinking that it is what he needs to because he saw his father. Do you think this is true? Wow, that's a very interesting question and a very interesting scenario. And yeah, I'm going to answer this question in two bits. First of all, I think the answer is yes. It does happen sometimes that a child grows up in an abusive environment and that way they think this is a normal sort of life and this is how life is supposed to be. When they are grown up, they actually now become an abuser of other people and they abuse children. Or it can even happen during childhood where a child, because it's being abused at home, will go out at school and will bully other kids and will abuse other kids because of what's happening in their home environment. But what I want to stress is it it doesn't happen all the time. And there are lots of people who have grown up in abusive environments and abusive homes who grow up and I do not become abusers themselves. So it's not immediate that just because a child is, is abused, they will then become an abuser in later life. Let's say a child is being abused and they gather strength to tell the elders around them but the elders do not believe them how do you suggest they find a safe space to report the abuse so if this happens to you or to a friend you have a couple of options that you can follow the first one and i think the most easy one is if you report to your school teacher or the social worker at your school or even your principal and these people have mentioned by law are mandated to report any form of abuse child abuse to the police and to the authorities and to get you the help that you need these guys are a safe space they are not going to tell your business to anybody else so feel free please to report all forms of abuse to your teachers the next thing is you could go to the nearest hospital and talk to the doctors and talk to the nurses talk to anyone who's at the hospital and let them know what's been happening to you again by law these people that I've mentioned are supposed to help you and support you through any form of abuse that you are experiencing um, the other thing is you could call a uh, child line 24 hour service. I will give you a number for that um, and it is 08000 This is a 24 hour service. You can call it any time and complain to them and report any form of abuse that you're experiencing to them. And the last thing is especially during COVID-19 time, the Western Cape Government Health Department has actually set up a call line that you can call and report any types of abuse. And the number for that is 0800-611-093. I'll repeat it, it's 0800-611-093. What effect do you think the pandemic and the lockdown has had on child abuse in South Africa? Like I said, the majority of abuse happens in the home. And during the COVID-19 pandemic, we were all at home. The children were at home, parents were at home, uncle, auntie, and everybody who lives in the home was in the house 24 seven. And this opens up doors for abuse because in essence, you are leaving the child in an environment which is supposed to be safe. But if you have an abuser in that same environment, it becomes a very unsafe space for the child. So I do expect that during this um, COVID-19 pandemic, there were a lot more cases of child abuse. And going forth, I'm hoping that a lot more children will come up forward and report this child abuse, especially since now things are settling down and getting back to normal in quotes. How can the community help in child abuse? The community plays a huge, huge, huge role in stopping child abuse because in the community is where the child abuse happens. Now, if you see your neighbor, your neighbor's child, your friend, your cousin, a random child on the street, 
being abused, it is your duty to report that abuse to the nearest authorities so that we can make sure that that abuse does not happen again and that we break this chain of abuse. It is our responsibility to be our brother's keeper, our sister's keeper, and make sure that all our children are safe. Is there anything else would you like to add? Thank you so, so much for having me on this radio segment. Um, My last words are just to say, you know, anyone who does anything to help a child is a hero in my books. For all the kids listening out there, guys, always remember, you are amazing. You are superb. You deserve to be treated with the utmost respect and love by the world and everyone around you. Please make sure that you are your brother's keeper. Make sure that you report anything which is suspicious so that everyone can help to protect you better and you can live happy and healthy lives always. Thank you so, so much. Bye. Thank you, Jessica, for the interview. This is Uli reporting from Samara Michelle in Meech's Plain. Rx Radio by and for children. You are listening to RX Radio. For and by children. RX Radio. RX Radio Rock.